What if, for every pound you spent on a car, you had to drive that distance in 24 hours? Well, that's an idea we had this week. So today, we're gonna to put it to the test. We're gonna buy a cheap car online and then go on a little road trip. There are just three rules. The entire mileage has to be completed within 24 hours of buying the car. We can't buy any cars that we've owned before and we can't just drive in a circle or go on the same road more than twice. I think we want something around that 800 pound mark. You know, something reliable one. That's not a massive distance, it's fine. That's Edinburgh back. What? Since when? Where are we gonna go? France? My passport's expired, but we can give it a go. Brilliant. Yeah, sorry. Okay. <laughs> right, I'm going eBay, ending soonest. I'm switching it up a bit. Here, this, 500 quid. Okay, that looks very broken. With Ethan unable to read prices, or descriptions, I drafted in some help from Edwin. I reckon we go like 1500. 1500 quid, you get yourself like a seven series. Do you want to do 600 miles in like a 106? I've done that. <laughs> <laughs> or just imagine 1500 miles with the boys in a Range Rover. I tell you what, now you say with the boys. With the boys. Do, I'm getting it. Oh, I've got something rare. An Exidos. Six. That was Mazda's three series competitor. And they raced them in BTCC. So it's got motorsport heritage. Automatic, leather, V6, 850 pounds. This is what he does. Look, he comes in, he, he sits down, he finds a car. It's worth the ring, isn't it? What is this thing called? An Exidos 6. Exidos. 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 <laughs> Exidos. <laughs> Yeah, hiya. Um, I see you've got an Exidos for sale. Would you go on a long journey with it? Oh, it may not go anywhere in that. Is 850 your best on it? Can you do any better than that? Hey, come with me, 900 quid. If you come with 800 quid, I'm losing 100 quid. I'll just reach for my books as a loss. All right, cheers. Take care. Goodbye. Wiped 50 quid off just on the That's phone. 50 miles. Even if you get another six pounds off. I'm not going to haggle with the man over six pounds, Ethan. You don't get the jeopardy of this video. <laughs> six miles, miles is six minutes of our life. You don't still don't understand how mileage and, and time works it's not necessary <laughs> miles per minute i'm working on miles per minute he's just doing 60 miles an hour no matter what road he's on on the motorway 60 in a 30 60. i think we've got one locked in Ooh, it's got mot it's got two keys it's in slough which is not far what's the mazda 800 this is another 200 miles on top the mazda though is 150 miles away so we don't even start the challenge until we get there so it passed its last mot with the advisory vehicle structure is corroded but structural rigidity is not significantly reduced. not significantly reduced this side rear wheel, wheel bearing rough, corrosion on the sills, damage to the lights, and perishing on the tyres. Everything's got corrosion on the sills. Fair enough. Even a good car dealer. Buy a car from me, they're all rotten. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Can you tell me a little bit about the car? Is it decent condition, drive right, stop right? Yeah, it drives wicked. And the uh, rear brake pad would need changing at some point. Uh, condition wise, she's pretty mint, apart from I think the passenger side, I think she's got a dent. And would you, would you do a long journey in it? The rear brake pads do need require changing, but to be fair, wherever you're going, it'll drive for two, three hours with no issues, I'll tell you this much. If I came in the next couple of hours with £800 cash, would you take that? I've had offers at 900 950 but you know what i'm okay if you can't with 800 pound cash yeah okay great can we just he's just pulled 195 quid off without even looking at the car also he had us in there yeah and at the end he said yeah i'll definitely trust this to drive two hours <laughs> yeah. <laughs> long journey mate i do 40 minutes in this yeah yeah, yeah mate. maybe 50. Yeah. <laughs> now we've got two cars at 800 quid maybe he decides because he's not done anything today he makes true because he lost his passport yeah. he has to decide that's a very good point Ethan, yeah. and i'm glad you brought yeah. that up oh and i'm gonna flip a coin no oh yeah. god heads for mazda yeah <sighs> Oh my God. What is it? This guy. It was tails. So we're at the Clio. I mean, like, first impressions, come on, look how sweet this thing is. Dent there. Yeah, but think how old is this? What, 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 um, what year is this? 98. So it's a 98? It's older than Ben. Oh my God. Who's it's holding old, the camera. It's older than Ben. And it's fed much better than him, because he's haggard. No, it's good, even like inside as well. Yeah, that looks, Eight months old. You can do 130 as well. I doubt that. But. <laughs> do you know what? This is a great find. I'm, I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm just going to say it. That's that's roomy. Engine. Okay. Yep. Show me where it is. That's a strong start, Ethan. Very good. You know, you can tell he's really done this before. What's that? It, what's that switch? Where? Down there. That's a bodywork screw, Ethan. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. You find it. All right, I'll find it. It's got another little tab. You got to push. Yeah, let's try this. Ah, you, you actual. <laughs> Ow! 
are you doing? Showing you the engine. <laughs> My finger's in there. <laughs> what have we got here, Ethan? Show me. 1.2, right for turbo charging. Right for it. Oh. Oh. Textbook. Price. So Nad is just behind the camera over there. He's selling the car. Nad, we've got to do an almighty journey in this car. Can you do 750? We did agree 800 quid, but as it's you boys, I'm sure I can. What about 749? <laughs> no. 749? Yeah. So it is 333, and we've got until 333 tomorrow to do 749 miles. Right, the deed is done. 749, thanks to Ethan's negotiating skills. Even that one pound is going to make all the difference. Yeah, That's what she said. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's go somewhere. Oh. Right, reset this trip. Look at it. It's just so... Is it getting you fizzing? Yeah, um, yeah I'm popping a little bit. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to lie. With the deal done and the rain starting, we grabbed the bare essentials. Cheers, mate. Thank you. And hit the road in our absolute nugget of French gold. This is quite good, actually. Like, road noise is good. You got you, you boys comfortable back there? Yeah. You, you're a tall man. I'm a tall and fat man. And I, are we fit in a line? Fine. I gotta, go, I gotta move my legs around. But this is good. It's not too noisy. It's comfortable. The brakes are <laughs> horrendous. Jesus, we're gonna rear end this lorry. <laughs> but apart from that, it's good. Before we could even discuss where we wanted to go, Edwin demanded that we drive down to Southampton first, as he had somehow already arranged a surprise for the Clio. Here we go. Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh, they're going to look lovely. Oh, they're going to look the bollocks. Yes. This is what normal people do on a road trip, right? They buy wheels. To be fair, though, the tyres on these, I don't fancy doing another 700, no. uh, 650 miles on them. Well done, Edwin. Yeah, come on. What a good shout. We killed some distance and we're going we're gonna to look sick as well. We'll do a little comparison of what we got. Look, a little width makes all the difference. Hey, lads. What are we, 100 miles in? Round about. Right, Edwin's got to pick first, so I think me and Jack get rock, paper, scissors, what's next? We should all do rock, paper, scissors. This wasn't for me, this was for the car. One, rock, paper, scissors, uh, shoot. I, who, what? Well, okay, so you're out. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Yeah, all right, cool. We're going to Lanzante next. She's got better Listen, pants. you said pack light. There is used ones. <laughs> oh. <laughs> PS5, Troy Jack, pants, yes, let's go. Does it feel quicker? Yeah, the wheels have vastly yeah. improved the speed of this thing, yeah. Whoa! Oh, look at that go. Steering has vastly improved. Yeah. Oh I like the stability now, that extra half, a, half an inch. Those extra five spokes, they're giving you all that stability. So why are we going to these Canary Islands for? They, they service McLaren F1s and they're only 25 minutes away. So look, I'm getting my choice out done early and then you can go to a mountain or some ruins, I don't care. I do want to go to a mountain. Oh man, we do cars every week. Let's do, <laughs> let's do castles. Right, look at this guy, he loves the Maxim wheels. Yeah, he gave us a stink eye. He knows that these wheels shouldn't be on this car though. He knows that they should be on a Maxim, which should have color-coded bumpers, which this isn't. Oh, oh but those shut up. Um, I think uh, those wheels, uh, no, they're, technically they're not correct. Uh, in fact, they should have these Maxim wheels on. With Ethan as excited as ever, we headed to our next stop, Lanzante. <gasps> oh, look, at look, look at those, cool. I'm actually embarrassed. Sorry, hold on. Who chose the car? Yeah, that's what I thought. That's 28R, which is an F1 GTR long tail, which are the later GTRs, will have the long tail and the wide body and stuff. You can see Ethan also enjoying, uh, really enjoying it. Now tell me, what do you know about this? Should we drop it into their um, workshop? Their like, guys, center, can yeah. you just do it quick? Yeah, rear brake spit noise. Yeah, you know? yeah I don't know if you've ever worked on something like this before. <laughs> McLaren's ticked off the list, we piled back into the Clio and decided on our next stop. I'm happy, you can go wherever you want now for the next 600 miles. Are you, are you I'm done? Well, yeah. You're out now. Yeah, I'm done. Are you satisfied? Yeah, I got to see a McLaren F1, I'm done. Is it worth getting wet to look at McLaren F1? Yes. So where are we going now? 
It's up to the rock, paper, scissors, I guess. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh. <laughs> right, Ethan, you're, you're for Jack then. Okay. And I'm for me. Okay. Right? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, I couldn't be. So, Jack, you get to choose where we're going. Okay, look, let's get up the country a bit. Let's have a quick stop off at Caffeine and Machine. Because why not? Ooh, okay. okay I yeah, like it. Yeah. And if we think of something on the way, then screw it. That's the name of the game. We'll stop off. Yeah. As we neared Caffeine and Machine, I swapped seats with Edwin, which turned out to be a very profitable decision. Oh shit, did you hear that? Oh. <gasps> what have I broken? You haven't broken anything. What am I looking at? <gasps> it's a pound, pound that coin! Is a, that that is that's a, miles off! That's that one is, mile! That is one mile less. So that's 748 miles now. Right. We're making miles! With all of us riding the high of Jack's pound coin discovery, we pushed on towards Caffeine and Machine, loving every second of our little Cleo. Cleo's a good little nugget. Hell yeah. 252 miles point four. Unfortunately, lads, it's not enough. It's 496 to go. To do the miles that we need to do tomorrow, we have to wake up, instantly be doing 60 miles an hour, <laughs> and then not stop for nine hours. There's no way it can be done. I think we've got to do another 100 miles. Are you absolutely joking on my face? Hold on, so what's the, what's the time right now? Uh, 9.30 at night. I was mentally checked out. We pulled in here, I was like, all right, we're five minutes from Airbnb, I'm done, that's good, I'm eight, then I'm gonna go to bed. No, I'm, no, not, I'm, not, doing I'm not doing it, I'm not doing it, I'm not doing it, I'm not doing it. We One got, for the road, we, as they say. We gotta go. I'm not doing it, I'm not doing it. Right. Oh my God. <laughs> After Edwin's insurance fraud attempt, we agreed on our next stop to go and see Test Pig, our E36 compact that was sat in storage over 50 miles away. We dropped our bags at the accommodation and piled back into the car after a quick bite to eat, which had a miraculous effect on Ethan's energy levels. Hello. This was our feet. With an E36 touched and more miles gained, we got straight back in the car and headed home. However, none of us had really grasped how much further we still had to go. This show only has V power, so I reckon we'll gain at least like 20 horsepower from this. Right, boys, we've got a full tank of petrol. We're well rested. Fine. Ethan, decide where we're going for breakfast. Uh, just go north. We've been south. Right, I'm going to put Liverpool into my phone. 141 miles of your finest British miles. 141 miles Liverpool? Yeah. That puts us at what? 500 miles. So we'll have 235 yeah, miles yeah. after that. How are we feeling though in general? We're high spirits, we're gonna do it? Yeah. After our little audition um, last night, our little mission. That was a good call. I, I think now we're in an okay position. Come on then, 140 to go. It's in the bag. I've never been to Liverpool and I can't like it's it. It's good. Mm, it's good. You've really slowed us down with this stop though, Ethan. I said, should we just grab something and go? And you're like, no, no, we'll just stop for a bit. You said breakfast in Liverpool and <laughs> getting breakfast in Liverpool. So we're now, what, 520 miles in? 515? Just, just like up, that. yeah, about that, yeah. So where do you want to dip out to? There's a waterfall in the Brecon Beacons. Yeah. No, there isn't. Yeah. To be honest, anything that isn't the inside of the clear, as much as I love it, let's do that. So Brecon Beacons, and then we can head home. We really shouldn't have stopped. To yeah, I know. Like well, let's eat. Feeling full, but behind schedule, Ethan decided to treat himself to a bit of car spotting. Hello, sailor. Oh my word. With the real attraction of Liverpool scene, we hopped in our car and set off towards the Brecon Beacons National Park in the south of Wales, now known as Banay Blecheniog. Apologies for that pronunciation. 
Do we have time for a seven minute diversion? Well, what have you got in mind? Well, we're going past Wrexham. We could go to the race course ground. Wait, hold on, it's in like a football ground? Yeah, Ryan Reynolds, Rob McElhenney, they bought Wrexham Football Club. We'll go see it. I don't care for football, but I don't care either. But if it's what Ethan wants to do, well, yeah, why not? Parking. Yeah, let's park. Let's go out and look at it. I mean, we can't really see much because it's all closed. So. Do you like Always Sunny in Philadelphia? Yeah. I've watched the documentary. It's quite good. That's the pub that's in it. Oh, do you like Deadpool? Uh, yeah. It's all right. That's the ground. Well, then Wrexham's the team you should should support. Floodlights. If they did something that wasn't football related, I'd probably, yeah, I probably could, could enjoy it. Can't see much more than that. Would you buy, like it if they bought... Any 36? Yeah, I'd love it. Welcome to Cleo. If Ryan Reynolds bought an E36, I'd have a beer with that man. Should we go? Is that a nice little stop for you, Heath? Yeah. Did you not like it? I loved it. Wow. All right. No, I can't wait to go to some boring ass McLaren dealership again where it's pissing down with rain. Listen, bud, one of those cars probably worth more than that club. Potentially true, but. <laughs> but redundant. <laughs> Let's get into the Breckens then. With my detour done, we got back on the road and headed down through beautiful Wales to what looked like would be our final stop. However, before long, I realised something, and it wasn't good. Something's just dawned on me, and I don't know if it's dawned on either of you. In 45 minutes time, it will be 3.33. And we need nearly exactly 102 miles. I don't think I have the capacity to average like 130 miles an hour on these Welsh B roads. We're only going to be a couple of hours late, aren't we? I just don't know where we went wrong. Cheers, mate. Thank you. <laughs> cool. Hello. Let's go and look at it. Sometimes it's not about the end goal. It's about the friends that you've got crammed in a Clio. I woke up this morning, didn't know I was going to go to Wrexham's football ground. What's to stop people from doing that, just waking up and going somewhere? Go and do it. Do it in a Clio. We booked an Airbnb on the day. All this stuff hasn't been planned. When we woke up this morning, we still had a chance at doing this. And the only person that's chosen where we've gone and where we've stopped today is Ethan. Yeah, but you stopped for like in two hours for your eggs. Look, let's not argue about whose eggs ruined what, OK? <laughs> Regardless of whether we've done this in the right amount of time or not, I'm having way too much fun on these roads. I want to continue, I want to see the mileage done, even though we didn't do it in the time. I say we carry it up to the Brecon Beacons, we have some fun, Yeah. we get the miles in at least. Yeah. Because the Clio wants to do it, listen to it. See it home. We were all quite happy that we had decided to push on, because now we were getting into some of the best parts of the Welsh countryside. Waterfalls chased, we finished up our final miles, caring little about the fact that we'd failed and instead enjoying the new friend that we'd made out of this dinky little Clio. That was, however, until mile 740, just eight miles short of our goal, the Clio started making a horrific noise. You actually, you can't make this up. I don't know if you can hear this, but there is a very sketchy noise coming from the rear, rear left brake, uh, rear left something, and we are at 741 miles. And it's, it's all completely my fault as well, because I, I, I was just saying how this car is one of the best we've bought. There's not, I don't think there's anything wrong with it, and now I feel like we have to pull over because that I noise think we is just weird. have to check at least. Yeah. That's getting louder as well. I'm so sorry, boys. Let me just lay down in uh, all this trucker shit and paper towels, eh? That's a good idea. Got oh, some underwear there. <sighs> I love the hard shoulder of the M4. It's actually one of my favourite places wide, to be. Someone driving a car should be able to say, wow, this is a really good car, without the f breaking down two seconds later. Sake. I mean, the wheel's on. The wheel's it's connected. On. Let's just keep an ear out. I bet you that's fixed it. We can't fail at 745 miles. No, it's got we to. It's got to do the miles at least. Should we just do the miles? If we can't do the time, it's got to do the miles. This is actually ridiculous. I promise you, we are not bullshit. This, this is not, this, is this isn't, I, I swear this is not put on. Come on! Come on! Yes! yes! Good job, Pepe. A mile for every pound. And also, these are good. 
These are the real Mark good. The Mark they're surprisingly good for how small, diddy, yeah. light, thin they are. Well, we only miss it by a few hours, so... You are, yeah. It's all right. If you want to watch more carpet videos, click here. See you next time.